Well, welcome back, and if you're new here, hi, I'm Max, and today I've got you another train that will take us to Y to, to the, the North, North Pole, of course! <clears throat> Sorry? Yes, we're making a Polar Express today as requested. Now, before we start, be sure that you like and subscribe, and you can follow me on Patreon to support the channel, and get access to the download for this train and all my builds. Link will be in the description. Now let's build. So let's create a new train on the station. I'll have the first bogey be a Blomberg style. Place the shift deep plate on the top. And have it be 16 blocks long. And have heavyweight bogey in the last block. Now, if we make an axles for the drive wheels. We'll have four for this S3 cars engine. And at the back here will be the firebox. And I'll be using a chute for the boiler shape. Connect the girder with the block here. Place another deep plate layer and let's drill iron on the top. Now extend the chute on the side all the way. And on the fire blocks, we will place a full industrial iron and a deep slate block. And let's decorate the fire box exterior. Add a little bit of shape with the stairs. Place a bunch of stone buttons as rivets. A shaft and bracket as a boiler railing. Looking good. We have steam and rails train half of the smoke box. Now, it's going to be a bit weird, but I'll be using it for a drive wheel as well. A set of pistons on the side. Continue on to the front, and then we'll make a cow catcher. Let me put a shaft with the girder here. Let me use a catwalk, and a cast iron sheet stairs for the cow catcher. the stairs and platform onto the side of the boiler here. Finishing the piston. This will be a steam exhaust. Right, now let's finish the platform all the way to the firebox. I'll make the piston housing a little bit bigger, with the vertical slabs. Now have a shaft that is stand in for the rods and pipes. The headlight. And the smokestack from the steaming rails. Now I'll place a stair here to round out the boiler shape. Add an extra chute in the middle. few sets of slab and trap doors for steam domes. Now, at the very front, I'll be using a top cat step instead, so it's not too bulky. You can change the smoke color with the wall, so I'll be using a light gray for this one. And we'll hide a steam whistle inside here. We can leave the top part exposed just like that. Right, now we just do the same on the other side. I 
I almost forgot a trap though on the dome here. Right, that is the boiler finished. Now to the cap. I'll place deep slate out four blocks. And add a support underneath. That should do it. And a shaft and bracket for the coupler. And now we finish the flooring. For the wall, we'll be using copycat panels. And the roof will be a display tile slabs. And more copycat panels. Chisel deep slate on the top. And the rest will be industrial iron. Right, it is more like it. Now I forgot to add an extra shape to the firebox here. And we'll extend the floor out in the back here. Now let's decorate inside the cab. We'll be adding a windows. Place down the controls. We'll have two controls in this one. Adding a bunch of levers and gauges on the front. Place a shaft on the ceiling and some lighting. valve and hand crank as well. Let's try something on the clipboard here. And I'll make like a back wall behind the seats using an andesite door. Right, it is the locomotive all complete. Now let's make a tender. We we'll place the bogey three blocks away behind the loco. Extend it out on the front. And the next bogey will be seven blocks apart. Right here. And on the side, I will place a deep slate brick slabs. Let's add something under the carriage so it's not too boring. Let's go from here. Now let's place the wall. We can raise them up to three blocks. And we have these two deep slate pillars on the front. And the stairs on the top. We can separate the tender into compartments. Coal in the front and water in the back.
Now the rest of the wall will be using quite a bit of copycat panels. Let's get a slope here back down the block, like that. Add some rivets on the very edge here. And the texture will be a chisel deep plate. Add a bit of copycat steps along the wall so it doesn't look too thin from the top. Right then in the back, we'll place down a fluid tank. Hide a lamp in there. And cover these with trap doors and panels. And some small railing with a shaft and brackets. Now we'll decorate the back with some ladders, couplers, and valves. Alright, let us decorate the front. Adding a few steps and ladder here to get on the cap easier. Some extra storage and a floorboard. Then we'll fill up the bunker with the coal blocks. Okay, I'm gonna stop it right here for now. I guess Polar Express is way bigger than I anticipated. But no worries, I will continue on the rest of the train and get the next video out sometime in a few days. The schematic for the train will be available on my Patreon by now, so be sure to check that out. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.